Okay. Well, uh, I hope my GoPro's running. God, it's a constant struggle. Okay. This is probably one of the most fun little mazes I've ever found in my life. Uh, I think it's an old golf course. And I believe they're trying to turn it into like an RV park of some kind. But uh, it's clearly overgrown. There's no power lines through here uh, at all, at least that I've seen. And uh, there's just kind of like these sparse trees and these weird just like abandoned paths. There's a cool pond over here. And uh, just an awesome place to buzz around. Very, very cool. Pond, uh, I would foot drag that, but not a, not a great idea. Not somewhere I want to go down. That's my new rule. That's my new rule. I'm only going to foot drag water if I'm cool with like going for a swim. If I'm really, really hot and close to my truck. Oh, that's a tight gap. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can do that. Oh. Oh, this pro man's just going out and doing some fishing. Just trying to hook me a couple of bass and bluegill. Yeah, I'm not gonna buzz around here too much longer. But it's just like cool, all these old like abandoned sand traps and shit. Uh, it's just uh, just down river from the fly-in. Yeah, this here is of course a fairway. Yeah, man, you gotta be careful you don't get yourself into a hole you can't climb out of. Get pretty narrow. Yeah, fun place to fly around. There's there's different uh, golf courses around home, but none of them are abandoned. And I kind of feel shitty about going up there and buzzing around, even when there's not people there, because people kind of tend to give a shit about golf courses. Oh, here we go. Oh, neato. Neato. Oh, what a fun place to buzz. These, this is my absolute favorite, low flying. I've, I've kind of asked myself that before, like what type of flying is the best? And without a doubt, these like nil wind nights that you have just unlimited control of your glider, where you're going, you're not getting shook around by anything. You can just buzz around like you're a pod racer. Oh, that is a gap. I don't know. That's pretty narrow. I don't know if I like that. Man, just acres and acres of this. Yeah, and again, this is kind of one of those things that never looks all that cool on the GoPro. Like after I after I pull it off my camera, I get looking at it and I'm like, man, that's not even that cool. But you gotta remember, this camera is on the very top of my head. And the way I'm sitting right now, my feet are probably at least four feet uh, below my camera. So when it looks like I'm just at the top edge of these trees, it's actually that my uh, most of my body is down between them, which is kind of what makes it fun. Oh, yacht club or whatever. Oh, I think I remember seeing this last year. Boy, this golf course is a, just a hella cool place to cruise. Hey, look at this. It's just like made for PPG. I think I can fit through that slot. Turkey. 
I'm pretty sure that was a wild turkey. I saw the stripes. Yeah, stuff like that can kind of spook you. Uh, when you're flying over grass and something pops out. Yeah, that guy's fishing. I don't want to ruin his evening, so I think I'm going to get heading back to the fly-in. Yeah, this is not going to be the greatest video in the world because I don't have a, a third-person cam uh, rigged up, but it's just the way it goes. I've been having trouble keeping everything charged up this weekend and uh, just left my other GoPro back at the camper, so it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cruise around. Yep, I'm going to get out of that guy's hair so he can catch some bass and cats with his rod and rail and shoot bucks from the top of his windmill. Oh.